Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you don't know who I am, my name is Maria. I live here in New York City, and I want to do a quick video on my experience going to see the Hodge Twins at Caroline's on Broadway. Stay tuned, bye. On the Hodge Twins comedy stand-up here in New York, I went yesterday, luckily, because today, the snow, the snow story came. So I was lucky enough to go on the first day that we're here, and it was, freaking amazing I went with my cousin and I'm never mind the setup back here I'm in my bathroom my two-year-old is napping and my son has the day off because the schools are closed and me too I work for the city so we close so anyways so I went with my cousin I bought the ticket to see them and also I bought the ticket or the pricing for the post meetup after the show and oh my god, I was freaking out about the outfit, about my hair, my nails. Like, I swear to god, I, I thought I was gonna go on a date basically, but I wasn't. And yes, I am married, and my husband knows that, knows about the hot one, so he was like, he was like, go enjoy, fine, whatever. I was like, okay, bye, I'm going. <laughs> and <laughs> anyways, I'm still like hyped up. Like, every time I think about it, I'm still hyped up. So, what I wanted to start off by saying is that. If you are not like a Hodge Twin fan or you don't know anything about them, and let's say you went because I saw a few people there that actually went like as a as a as a date. So one person will be laughing like really hard, and the other person will be like you know like laughing normally, but like basically you could tell who was a fan and who was a date on over there. But anyways, so then. I don't know what to say like it was freaking amazing so like that's what I wanted to say sorry I, I like lost track so I wanted to say is if you're not a Hodge fan a Hodge twin fan right and you're going as a date you were still going to laugh because how they did it was so freaking funny I was literally laughing the whole time as soon as I, they stepped out I was laughing like the whole time we were eating we were eating, we had to buy two, two drink minimum and all that. Um, they were at the Caroline's in New York, in Broadway. But um, I didn't miss any other jokes. Like, I was like, in it. Like, it was freaking funny. And my freaking stomach was hurting because I was laughing so hard. My jaw was hurting because I was laughing so hard. I felt sorry for the person next to me. Like, I was about to warn them. Like, listen, I laugh really hard, so... Like, I was going to warn them, but I was like, you know what, whatever. They're here to laugh. If you don't like it, get, get out, right? But anyways, anyways. So I went, I made, I saw the show. The show was like, um, somebody came out to open for them. Oh, I thought that was stop recording. Okay, anyway, sorry. Um, somebody came out to open for them for a good, like, 30, the first 30 minutes. And then they came out. So then, yeah. So they came out. And the, the first thing I noticed, obviously, is that they had um, no sleeve shirts and they were like matching because they said that their wife thought it would be cute if they were matching, which I don't care what they wear as long as, you know, I was just like, oh shit, they came out with no like sleeveless. I was like, damn, I was sitting in the back and I still saw those muscles, you know, but whatever. <laughs> anyways, anyways, I'm freaking out. Anyways, so then, sorry, I'm playing with my hair a lot. Um, what else? I don't know. I don't know. It was just funny. And then I, like, after the show was done, I made the line to go meet them. And I was contemplating, like, as soon as I got the tickets, I was like, what the hell am I going to say to them? Because when I met up another person that I followed, um, Michael Morali, I met him in Times Square, too. And I was like, I didn't know what to say. I was nervous. I get nervous and read all the time like not all the time but when i get nervous i get nervous and red so i'm like what the hell am i gonna say i don't know, I don't know what to say blah, blah. so when i'm there they had mentioned like like the audience kind of looked white like most of the people that were there they were white that's what they said but from what from where they were standing that's what they said i was like no there's some dominican here i'm here hi i'm in the back you know obviously Maybe I might not look your typical Dominican person, whatever, but uh, for those people that don't know, but I'm like, yeah, I'm Dominican. So, so I'm like, 
So I switched up whatever I was gonna say to them. So I was like, hey, Diana, that's my cousin. I'm gonna start up by saying, now all of us are white in here, we Dominican. Like, I'm Dominican, boo, like, like that. So I was like, so that's the first thing I said, and that kind of made them laugh. So I was like, happy thing I made. I made, I think, Keith laugh more than um, Kevin. So whatever, I got, I got a few shots and a few, like, little videos that my cousin recorded for me. So I'll, I'll insert them at the end so you can see. So he, and the thing that threw me off guard when I went to see them, I sort of was like maybe a mini because it was a long line. Um, <clears throat> so the thing that caught me off guard, caught me off guard was that Keith was like, oh, you're that girl on that Twitter, right? I was like, yes, like, you remember me from my Twitter? I was like, oh my God. Yeah, because I said it, I was like, oh my God, I'm going to the Hodge, I'm going to go see the Hodge Twins tonight. Like, what am I going to say? And, or like, I was just tweeting. I never, like, normally I'm not on Twitter like that, but since I know that they're there, they're on there, and they liked it, they liked my tweet, I was like, oh my God, they like my tweet. I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm sorry. Like, I'm super fan girl. I'm like the opposite of my husband. Like, we crossed in front of a store, and Sergio Vargas, that's a Dominican artist, was in the store. And I was like, Richard, look, Sergio Vargas is in the store. And he's like, uh, he kept the moving. I was like, anyways. So I don't know, I'm like a fan girl. And, and he's like, my husband was like, oh, you know, yeah, you're a fan girl, you're fanning out, whatever, but you know you went there, you know, because you, you, they, they look good. Blah, blah, blah. I was like, wait, I'm not going to say that to your face, but yeah, they look good. Like, what do you want me to do? Like, <laughs> they're funny as hell, though. And their kind of humor, that's the kind of humor I like. Like, it's ratchet or, like, it's not all sugar-coated. Like, they're raw to the core. Like, that's the kind of funny I like. So... If you miss the show, hopefully they come back to New York, but yo, I think they sold out. I think they sold out the first night. And I heard some guys saying like, oh my God, it's it's a Wednesday night. Like, what are all these people doing here? I'm like, maybe because if they knew that the storm was coming or something, but I was like, I was like, it's a hot story. It's like, what do, you, what do you expect? And my cousin was like, there's a lot of guys in here. Like, I, you're like one girl, and there's like 15 guys on the line. I'm like, it's because they're, um, they're muscle, like, not muscle, like, they train. Like, I was telling her, like, they, they do bodybuilding, so guys look up to them, too. So, there was a bunch of guys there fanning out, too. So, it wasn't only me fanning out, you know, fangirling out, whatever. So, yeah, I enjoy the show. It's a great show. I, I wish them all the best and continue that they continue on and if you could catch them I would say a hundred percent yes go watch their show you would not regret it you'll be laughing if you like you know PG you know rated R stuff like you will you will laugh a lot so that's all I wanted to do I wanted to say I'm gonna make a quick video um, <clears throat> maybe I'll edit some stuff out or whatever but I just wanted to come on here um, I'm still like, I'm sweating, like talking in here. It's hot in this bathroom. Anyways, so yeah, it was a good show and I'm glad it's, it's something that I'm going to remember and I'm like really glad that I met them in person. So yeah, that's it. Thank you for watching. And if you like the Hodge Twins, like my video or whatever, uh, just subscribe, leave me a, a comment if you know who the Hodge Twins are here on YouTube. And take care and enjoy your snow day. I'm, I'm in here and I woke up late and all that. So have myself an omelet. Veggie omelet. Anyways. All right. Take care. Bye.